Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome to another top 10 video. Today I have the top 10 rarest Minecraft survival items. Now this is down to my opinion, which is where you guys come in because I want to see in the comment section your top 10. Would you change what I've done? Do you agree in it? Would you switch the numbers around? So it is all down to opinion, which is why I want to see all you guys commenting down below and I'll be checking them out, seeing if I would change them. Um, so yeah, this is my top 10 rarest Minecraft features. I hope you enjoy. Okay then, so starting from 10 and working down to number one, I have personally placed gold ore at number 10. Now it is a rare item, but it's not the rarest in the game and you can improve your chances of finding gold ore at certain levels and you can even improve it again by finding it in mine shafts, which is exactly where I did find this. Although it's not rare, it's a lot more rarer than iron or coal or redstone, and I think gold ore is definitely going to be placed at number 10. So moving on to my number nine, I have chosen diamond ore. Now some of you are thinking, Echo, are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. And I actually think gold could be a little bit more rare compared to diamond. Now the reason why I put diamond here is because the things that are ahead of it are a lot more rarer to find. Now diamonds, they are rare. However, if you know how to find them, such as going to level 12 and strip mining, and if you have patience, you can find a whole heap of diamonds. Not to mention you can improve how many you get with the fortune pickaxe. So for me, number nine, I have placed diamond. So my eighth rarest of Minecraft survival, I have chosen emerald ore. Not emeralds themselves because you can trade certain things with villages, meaning that you get emeralds. I'm talking about the ore in itself. Now they only spawn in extreme hill biomes in groups of one. Now this is pretty rare to find where I had two of them together in survival, uh, but they normally do spawn in vines of one, making them super rare. And obviously they only spawn in one location, so this is definitely the rarest ore on Minecraft. Hopefully you guys do understand why I put emeralds ahead of diamonds. All right then, so as we get more into the exciting things, I have placed at number seven, saddles. Now you're probably thinking, Echo, saddles, are they rare? Yes, saddles are in fact rare and they only spawn in a few locations. They can spawn in temples, but the majority of spawns for saddles are in uh, dungeons, whether it be surface dungeons. And considering how many survival dungeons you do find, it's pretty rare. I would say an average, a survival per 100 episodes, you would find around about eight different spawners and the chances of finding saddles in every single one of them is pretty rare. So number seven, I have given to the beloved saddles. So coming in just ahead of saddles, I have placed music discs. Now music discs aren't really useful in survival, but they are pretty rare. And the only place that you can find music discs is in dungeons, whether it be a surface dungeon, whether it be a spider dungeon, whether it be a skeleton, or whether it be a zombie. Now the spawn rate of these, they aren't that common, um, and you really don't find too many of them, but I would say the most popular one on Minecraft console edition, I believe it's C13, which is cat. I seem to find these all the way in survival. So number six, I have given to the beloved music disc. As we break in to the top five, I have placed a certain armor. Now the armor I have placed at the top five of my list is going to be chain armor. Now the reason why I planted it at number five is because getting chain armor, all right, you may see a lot of mobs who do have it, but finding it and picking it off the mobs is very difficult. Now you can improve your chances with looting and fortune, but you can't craft any type of uh, chain armor at all. And it is a pretty good armor, it is pretty solid. I would say diamond is still better, but you can actually get chain armor in survival, whether it be from a zombie, a skeleton. So yeah, I place the number five, chain armor. At number four, just ahead of the chain armor, I have decided to pick something which is pretty rare on Minecraft console edition and pretty rare in Minecraft in general. Now at number four, I have placed a golden apple and you're probably thinking golden apple, they're not rare. I'm talking about finding golden apples in chests. Now these are rare, they are in fact pretty rare. You find them in the likes of dungeons, but you can very rarely find them in villages, so definitely for number four, I've decided to place the um, normal golden apple. Moving on to my third most rarest Minecraft survival feature, I have placed here the dragon egg. Now you only get one of these per world, so it is rare. However, the reason why I haven't placed it at number two or number one is because 
you do always have a ender dragon egg in a Minecraft world. Every time you kill the ender dragon, it will spawn. It's not like a 50% chance or you have to use a looting or anything like that. Uh, now obtaining the dragon egg itself, you do need a piston and some type of redstone feature, whether it be a lever or anything like that. But it does work. Um, so at number three for me, personally, I have decided to place the dragon egg. So just missing out on that number one spot, I have decided to put Wither Skeleton Skulls at number two. Now they are rare and if you've seen me play Minecraft Console Edition, trying to gather Wither Skeleton Skulls, even on hard difficulty, even with looting and fortune on a sword, guys this takes a very long time. Now you naturally do have a 2.5% chance of them dropping a Wither Skeleton Skull. I would say in honesty, in one every in every 100, you do grab a Wither Skeleton Skull. So Minecraft Console Edition, my number two spot has definitely gone to the Wither Skeleton Skulls. So ladies and gentlemen, my number one spot I have given to the Nether Star. Now the Nether Star can only be tamed or obtained after killing the Wither Boss. Now the Wither Boss, guys, after explaining to you previously how hard it is to get Wither Skeleton Skulls, you guys understand how difficult it is because to go to the Nether, you naturally do require lots of potions, you naturally want to be taking enchanted armor, enchanted swords, and in the end of it, you only end up with three skulls, and at the end of it, you only end up with one Nether Star. Meaning from the Nether Star, you create the beacon, and tell me guys, honestly, in survival, how often do you create a beacon? It's very rare, so for my number one spot, I have decided to pick the Nether Star. Hopefully you guys do agree. Now I hope you guys fully did enjoy that. It did take me a good two to three hours to put this video together and decide what position each thing should go. So if you do enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos very similar to this, whether it be top rarest, the worst, the most useful, the most, most unuseful, um, then I'll be feel free to do more in the future. But if you guys did enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below on your top 10. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I want to see a big debate in the comment section. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!